In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front exhaust manifold on your Nissan Ultima. Using a 5mm hex head, remove the three engine cover bolts. And there should be a third one right here. Ours is missing. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts for the air box. Push it back, pull up, put that to the side. Remove the five 21 millimeter lug nuts. Remove the wheel. There's five clips holding on this side splash shield. Ours only has four. The fifth one would usually be here. Using a 14 millimeter wrench, we're gonna pull back on this idler pulley and remove the belt off of a pulley. And let the tension go. I like to keep the belt mostly set up the best I can. And when we go up top, we'll take it off of the alternator pulley. Remove the negative battery cable. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter wrench. Tuck that down to the side. Remove the belt from the alternator pulley. Put it down on the side. I'm going to remove all the cables and plugs off of the alternator. Using a 10 millimeter socket, I'm going to remove this ground strap. The nut under here is a 12 millimeter. Pull that off. I like to put the nut back on this post. Pushing on this side tab, pull up on the connector. This is the tab we're pushing on. Using a trim tool, going to remove the two clips holding on these wire harnesses. Tuck those up out of the way. Using a 14 millimeter socket, I'm going to remove the bolt on the top of the alternator. This 10 millimeter bolt was for that ground strap. I just put it back in so I know where it goes. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the bottom bolt off the alternator. If you're struggling to fit tools in there, you can undo this 10 millimeter bolt.
and pull straight up on this coolant reservoir. And you can flop this to the side for now. Now that we're going to be going after the exhaust manifold, we can put our coolant reservoir back over here. Remove the 10 millimeter bolts for the exhaust manifold shields. Two on the top, two on the front. While you're next to this one, go ahead and lift the O2 sensor out of this little bracket. There's one more on the bottom left side of the manifold. Remove the heat shield. Put that to the side. Using a 22 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the oxygen sensor. And then come up to the side over here. There's a little push button. We're going to push that and release the connector. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the three bottom exhaust manifold nuts. With our three nuts off, we're going to pull down and pull the mid pipe off of the exhaust manifold. I'm missing a front hanger on mine right here, so I'm going to use a bungee cord and tie it up just to make sure that it doesn't fall while I'm completing this job. Using a 12 millimeter wrench, I'm going to undo the nut on the exhaust manifold bracket. Remove that nut. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the five nuts off the exhaust manifold.
Once you have all the bolts off, pull straight forward. Pull the exhaust manifold out. Remove the old gasket. Using a wire brush, I'm gonna go over this whole surface, cleaning it up and making it shiny again where the gasket sits. When you get done with an area, it should look like that little spot right there. Using a light grit sandpaper, we're gonna go over in this mating surface and clean it the best we can. The goal is to get all of the corrosion off, but not remove as much material as we can. Once you're done cleaning, I like to use a vacuum and suck out all of these ports to get all the dust out. We're gonna remove the heat shields off of the old converter and move it to the new assembly. These are 10 millimeter bolts. These bolts might break on you. Be prepared to replace them. These heat shields on the front were rotted out, so a shop at some point put this clamp around to stop it from rattling. We're gonna remove the clamp. Because of how gone my shields are, I'm gonna put the clamp back around this. We're gonna remove the coating that's on this mating surface. Again, gonna use a nice light abrasive and just go over the face, take it off. Use a razor blade to clean this. Be sure to not mar the surface or scrape it. This is a sealing surface. If you had anything fall in here, clean it out. If you wanna make sure nothing gets in there, you can put a little rag in there before cleaning it off. Included in the new kit is three exhaust studs. Install the studs into the new manifold.
use a stud installer or put two nuts against each other on it and then tighten it down. Using a stud extractor, we're going to remove the bracket stud out of the old manifold as well. Install the stud on this side of the cap using a stud installer. Get it nice and snug in there. Now we're ready to put it back in the car. Install the new gasket. Drop the new manifold in. And line the studs up. And start all the nuts. Snug all of the nuts down. Torque your nuts to 23 foot-pounds on this first pass. This is the order we're going to go in. That's one, two, three, four, five. In our second pass, it'll be one, two, three, four, and then five. Using a T55, we're gonna remove the plug for the O2 sensor bung. Install the O2 sensor. Tighten it down with a 22 millimeter wrench or a O2 sensor socket. Torque the O2 sensor to 37 foot pounds. Install the old heat shield. I'm going to drag this sensor up. Put the wire in there. Connect the connector. Mike came off the bracket. So all we're going to do is just Push it back on there. Install the 10 millimeter bolts. And 
And the last one is down on that side again. Get all the bolts started by hand, and then go around tightening them. Install the alternator. We're going to pull this reservoir back up, put it off to the side, and install the alternator. Start the top bolt. Then get the bottom bolt started by hand. Snug it down. Do the same on the top. Tighten this bottom bolt to 35 foot-pounds. Torque the top bolt to 21 foot-pounds. We're going to slide our coolant reservoir back over. Drop it onto that bracket. Install the 10 millimeter bolt. Snug it down. Move the 10 millimeter bolt. And the bolt on top of the alternator. Plug the alternator in. Install the cable onto the top of the alternator and put on the nut. Torque this nut to eight foot pounds. It's going to be a 13 millimeter socket. Install the clip into the top bracket. Grab the ground harness. Install the plastic clip. And install the bolt. Snug it down. make sure this boot is totally covering this area. We're going to grab our belt and install it onto the alternator pulley. Install the airbox cowl. Install the two 10 millimeter bolts. Snug them down. Grab the engine cover. Put it in place. 
Grab your five millimeter hex bolts. There would be one more right here. Ours is missing. Snug them down. Gonna get ready to install the belt. I'm gonna pull it off of the crank slightly. The belt set up on all of the other pulleys. I'm going to put it around the idler. Put our wrench on there. Feel around on all your pulleys. Make sure the belt is sitting square on all of them and it's seated into all of the grooves. Install the side splash shield. supposed to be one more right here, but we're missing it. Reinstall the bracket and the spacer onto the front exhaust manifold. Put the nut on. Line the studs up and reinstall the front cap pipe under the exhaust manifold and then put the nuts on. Stug down these three 15 millimeter nuts. Tighten down the 12 millimeter bolt on the clamp. Install the wheel. Put on your five lug nuts. and then snug them down. Snug them down in a star pattern to ensure that it seats square. The vehicle on the ground. I'm gonna torque the wheels to 100 foot-pounds. Moving in a star pattern. Reinstall the negative battery cable. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, we're gonna tighten it down. And there you have it. When only the best will do, demand TRQ.
the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.